Hey everyone! Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that affects millions of women worldwide polycystic ovary syndrome, or PCOS. Whether you're someone living with PCOS, supporting a loved one, or just curious to learn, this video is packed with everything you need to know symptoms, causes, diagnosis, treatment, and lifestyle tips. So, let's get started. What is PCOS? Polycystic ovary syndrome is a common hormonal disorder that affects people with ovaries, especially during their reproductive years. The term polycystic means many cysts, which refers to the small, fluid-filled sacs that often develop on the ovaries. But here's something important not everyone with PCOS has ovarian cysts. How common is PCOS? Did you know that PCOS affects up to 1 in 10 women of childbearing age? That's a massive number. And yet, many cases go undiagnosed because symptoms can vary so much. Symptoms of PCOS So, what are the signs to look out for? Here are the most common symptoms of PCOS. Irregular or absent periods. Excess hair growth, known as hirsutism, especially on the face, chest, or back. Acne or oily skin. Thinning hair or hair loss on the scalp. Weight gain or difficulty losing weight. Darkening of skin in certain areas like the neck or underarms. Fertility problems or difficulty getting pregnant. It's important to note, not all women with PCOS have the same symptoms, and some may have mild signs while others have more severe effects. Causes of PCOS Now let's talk about what causes PCOS. Honestly, the exact cause is still not fully understood, but research points to several factors. Insulin resistance This means your body isn't using insulin effectively, which can cause higher insulin levels. High insulin can trigger the ovaries to produce more androgens, male hormones, which disrupts the menstrual cycle. Hormonal imbalance Women with PCOS tend to have elevated levels of androgens like testosterone, which is why they may have symptoms like facial hair and acne. Inflammation Chronic low-grade inflammation is common in PCOS and is linked to insulin resistance and increased androgen levels. Genetics PCOS often runs in families. If your mother or sister has PCOS, your chances of having it are higher. How is PCOS diagnosed? Diagnosing PCOS isn't about just one test. Doctors typically use a combination of medical history and symptoms, physical exam to check for excess hair, acne, or weight changes, blood tests to measure hormone levels, ultrasound to check the ovaries for cysts and to examine the thickness of the uterine lining. To be diagnosed with PCOS, most doctors follow the Rotterdam criteria which means at least two of the following. 1. Irregular periods. 2. High androgen levels. 3. Polycystic ovaries on ultrasound. Complications of PCOS. PCOS isn't just about periods and acne. If left unmanaged, it can lead to long-term health issues like type 2 diabetes. High blood pressure, high cholesterol, heart disease, infertility, endometrial cancer, sleep apnea, anxiety and depression. That's why early diagnosis and a good management plan are so important. Treatment options While there's no cure for PCOS, there are many effective treatments to manage the symptoms and improve quality of life. Let's break it down. 
Lifestyle Changes For many women, the first line of treatment is a healthy lifestyle. Diet A balanced, low GI diet can help regulate blood sugar and hormone levels. Exercise regular physical activity helps improve insulin sensitivity and supports weight management. Weight management even a 5 to 10% reduction in weight can significantly improve symptoms. Medications Doctors may prescribe Birth control pills to regulate periods and reduce androgens Metformin for insulin resistance and to help with weight loss Antiandrogens to treat acne and excess hair growth Clomiphene or letrozole for women trying to conceive Hair and skin treatments Laser hair removal, acne treatments, and topical creams can also help manage cosmetic symptoms. PCOs and fertility One of the most talked about concerns with PCOs is fertility. And yes, it can make getting pregnant more difficult due to irregular ovulation. But the good news? Many women with PCOs go on to have healthy pregnancies with the right support and treatment. Fertility medications, lifestyle changes, and sometimes assisted reproductive technologies like IVF can help. PCOs Myths Busted There are a lot of myths about PCOs, so let's clear up a few. Myth, you can't get pregnant if you have PCOs. Truth, many women with PCOs conceive naturally or with treatment. Myth, you have to have cysts on your ovaries to have PCOs. Truth, not all women with PCOs have cysts, and not all ovarian cysts mean you have PCOs. Myth, only overweight women get PCOs. Truth, PCOs can affect women of all body types including those who are thin. Myth, PCOs is rare. Truth, it's actually one of the most common hormonal disorders in women. Living with PCOs Living with PCOs can be challenging, but it's absolutely manageable. The key is understanding your body, working with your doctor and making sustainable lifestyle choices. Support groups, online communities, and health professionals like dietitians or endocrinologists can make a big difference in your journey. Conclusion If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon for more health content every week. Got questions or your own experience with PCOs? Drop it in the comments below let's support each other.